What's going on, packet people? So I just got back from Cisco Live 2022, and at Cisco Live, I was able to pass my Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate exam. So I wanted to come on the channel and actually tell you a little bit about it, how I passed, and whether I think that this is a good exam for packet people. All right, so just to get started, if you go to the Cisco site and you go to learn, you're gonna find this Cyber Ops Associate exam. Now, this is a somewhat new-ish exam. It used to be on the CCNA track, but now it's been broken out into its whole other track, and that's just under the security track. Now, I thought overall, it's a pretty decent intro level exam. Now, just to take a look at the exam topics, I'm just gonna show you that here. So here we can see that under the exam description, uh, there's some overall security concepts, monitoring, host-based analysis, network intrusion, security policies and procedures. Now, not all of these are weighted the same on the exam. You do have to pass in the low 80% in order to actually get your certification. But again, if you stink at one of these areas and you're stronger in others, it could be that you'll still pass the test. Look, that was absolutely the case for me. In fact, just go ahead and check out my score report. If you look at here, cybersecurity concepts, I had 90%, security monitoring at 88, host based analysis 45 uh, so yeah I stink at host base analysis at least right now so I was stronger in some areas and I was weaker in others but how did I actually pass this exam well for me first of all I already have another cybersecurity certification and that's the certified ethical hacker so there was actually quite a bit of overlap in those core security concepts with the CEH and the Cisco Cyber Ops. So if you already have another certification like SEC Plus or the CEH or something like that, it could be that the Cisco Cyber Ops isn't that much more of a stretch for you to get. But if you're brand new to cybersecurity, there's gonna be a lot coming at you. Overall cybersecurity concepts as well as monitoring and network analysis. Now, what did I actually do to pass? I actually went ahead and bought the full course guide, the Cisco Cyber Ops Associate book. and. I'm going to be honest with everybody, I only read one chapter of it, the very first chapter. And I did some of the other tests just to take a peek at what are some of the other concepts, but I did not read this book cover to cover. Again, consider my background. I'm a packet head. I've been in the packet industry for a very long time. I'm familiar with TCP. I know Wireshark well and packet capture and so on. And as well, I have my CEH. So for me, just reading that first chapter was enough to just get me up and going on some of the Cisco terms that I would need to know for the exam. But if you're brand new, then this is definitely something that I would recommend. Uh, even thumbing through the rest of the book, there were some uh, good overall concepts that I think would be useful to you. And I really like the way that there's an intro test on do I know this already? And as well after every chapter you have a quiz to see how well you learn those concepts now something else that I've been doing over the last several months that I didn't realize would help me for this cert and that's really what I want to tell you guys about is I've been spending quite a bit of time on try hack me and other CTFs these were actually really useful because a lot of those terms that you're going to use in CTFs and other attack methods red team blue team you're gonna see come up on this certification so for some fun hands-on type of things Definitely recommend checking out Try Hack Me. I went ahead and linked that below. And that'll give you some of the hands-on fun aspect to learning some of this stuff. Now, something else that I've done over my career that helped me to pass this exam, and really, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, it's the only reason that I passed, uh, is because I have a strong packet background. Uh, I spend my career looking at packets, I'm looking at Wireshark, I'm looking at TCP. Uh, I know how intrusion detection systems work. I know what they're looking for as far as deep packet inspection. Really. A a lot of the concepts that you are seeing on my channel and will continue to see on my channel are things that you absolutely need to know in order to pass this exam. I absolutely thought that I would fail. The only reason that I did not fail is because of my packet background. There was lots of questions, as you can see in the exam description, that were around packet-centric things. TCP flows, what does an IDS do, and uh, how does it contrast with an IPS, and so on. So on this channel, I'm actually covering a lot of the concepts that you're going to need to know in order to be successful at passing your Cisco Cyber Ops Associate. So do I think it's a good exam? I do. I had a good time taking it. I would definitely recommend it as an intro-level exam. It's gonna be a little easier if you have another exam like the Security Plus. Of course, it's Cisco centric. So if you are working at a place that is a Cisco shop or you would like to work at a place that is a Cisco shop, again, this would be a great cert for you. 
So there was some overall feedback on the Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate Exam. I hope that was helpful for you. Definitely gonna be covering more specific things that turned up on that test here on this channel. And I hope that that helps all of you guys ace it should you choose to take it. Now, one concept that you absolutely have to know cold to pass this test would be the TCP handshake. So go ahead and click here to get more information on how that works.